Hey guys, it's James with the Chart Guys. It's Wednesday, October 26. I'm going to do my nightly video on gold. So gold overnight looked really good and looked good into the close yesterday. Had a nice up day, some consolidation, and then overnight move. But obviously, uh, as in the past, gold bulls weren't able to hold those gains as, dollars, as the US dollar sells some bounce. And uh, this is my hourly uptrend line today. Gold bulls did show up and defend it, creating a bullish reversal hammer here. Uh, currently at the open of futures markets at 6 p.m. Eastern time, we are losing it. Uh, we still have 30 minutes to close it above it, so we'll see uh, what happens there. Again, like every other commodity, um, every bounce is going to be short-lived until we regain this 20 MA, and you can see the importance of it, and when it makes moves is when it regains that 20 MA on the hour. Big moves up as long as it can hold, hold it as support. When it loses it, you get moves down, sideways consolidation, regain it, move up, lost it here um, at 6 a.m. this morning, and some more downside, back tested it, rejected, and moved down. So when we get this next 20 MA test, if we reject again, we're gonna, gold is gonna see more downside. If it establishes that a support, we could see some nice upside here. Something to watch on the daily, uh, let me show you something else. Uh, what I mentioned to the chat room today, what I saw today was on the two hour chart, uh, we had this inside candle here. And once it broke bearish, and I know in the past video you guys have heard me talk about inside candles and, the, and the how important they are. So once it broke bearish here, we saw a lot more downside. We just saw miners dumping um, today. So always try to look for different time frames and try to find those inside candles. I like to look at hourly and above, but Sometimes the 30 minute and the uh, smaller time frames can give you some clue as the, the immediate uh, move of gold. And then after this big move down from gold here, I, we, I was looking at the hourly chart and saw, found another inside candle here and alerted the chat room that there was another inside candle here. And you can see once it broke up below that, we had some more bearish action. So trying to create a base here, there is this bullish reversal hammer. Gold bulls have a lot of work and they haven't been able to hold their gains at all. So until they're able to do so, uh, gold is gonna struggle. We do have this uptrend on the hourly. See how well that holds up. Obviously we had some big earnings in miners today and miners definitely was definitely weaker than, than gold was today. Um, it moved with market sum and then it dumped with market sum even when gold was holding up. So a lot of different factors and miners. Let's look at some of the minor earnings. And minor earnings right now, I wouldn't count on them to be anything because, I mean, look at the volume after hours. Let me look at the five minute here. See how much volume is coming in. See volume, 16,000, 2,500, 500. So it's, this is, a, this is a non event to me. This price means nothing to me because of the volume. Uh, look at the volume in, on just this candlestick, it's 114,000. And when you're talking about 5,000, 6,500, that's, that's just, that's nothing. That, that means nothing. Um, it's probably going to depend on how gold moves to overnight and also on the conference calls that the miners will have in the mornings. So ABX had, does have this bullish reaction, but again, it's, it's on crap volume, CDE, cores, mining, bullish reaction on, what is this? Let's see, 500 volume, 2,000, this nothing uh, nem bearish reaction on 5000 1000 so yeah it's not really the miners earnings are not going to give us any clue as to which way the miners are going to move tomorrow until probably conference call and, and volume comes in at the open so so look for gold to regain the the hourly uh, 20 ma watch a test for it tomorrow let me see wrong time frame And again, any rejection at the 20 MA will mean weakness and more downside. You can see every time it's tested it and not being able to get above it, it goes down. And when it when it goes down and is able to regain the 20 MA, you can see some good upside. So always, always wait for the uh, for the 20 MA to become support on 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 any commodity. And that's just my rule of thumb on the hourly that it has to be 20 MA support. So have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow.